McIntyre, and I'm about to journey around the world to seek out the wildest weather there is. I'm about to do something that apparently has never been done before. Six to ten miles an hour. Fifty miles an hour! Not the best place to be in your underwear. The temperature here is uh, minus 18. <laughs> it's bloody freezing. It's just, uh, it's not long in the cold now, but you can see it's beginning to shiver a little. And he's shivering to try and produce more heat to try and counter the heat being lost in the environment. I feel like I've got the flu. I feel like I have a headache. And, uh, uh... He's in pain now. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to be here. Ah. You really want to experience the very worst the desert weather can throw at you. And this is the one event that promises to hit you with everything. Cutting desert winds, killer dehydration, blinding dust, and of course, the unbelievable, unbearable searing heat. Earlier on, it seemed like a very good idea. I haven't been running for too long, but already I can feel myself sweating all over. You can't really see it. The sun's evaporating it straight from my skin. But if you do this, you can taste the salt and the sweat. <laughs> oh, what monster designed that race? It's just every time you just sink in the sand there, and it's just blistering with the sun, with the sunshine, and it's dust in your ears and your eyes, burning your throat, and it's like, <sighs> oh, it's a killer. get as close as I could to being struck by lightning. I went to see Mike Alexander at the Theatre of Electricity in Boston. A bolt of lightning can be up to 30 miles long and it's just the width of my thumb. It's also six times hotter than the sun, so I'm gonna be very careful up here. Now, it's a cold morning, and the water in this lake is near five degrees. Now, sorry, I forgot that line. It feels like I've just been massaged by a hundred sumo wrestlers. Well, that's what a few tiddly Hawaiian waves can do to you. So the rains bring babies too? These maps, how are these maps created? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hi, guys, it's uh, Donal here. Just to say, no worries, and see you in the morning. Over. Okay. Hurt! Didn't work that time, did it? Or even a cup of tea from the Ritz. And it's a constant force. It's a constant force. I can't talk. 
a glacier. Sun cream, vitamin D. It's the process. Imagine what the whoppers will do. And the tighter I feel. Oh, God. <coughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> so we're going to put on a bigger pipe now. Yep. On account of I'm a bit heavy, and we need to get some air, really. <laughs> That's really the real reason, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Massive columns of hot air begin to rise. Come on, keep moving. Get up there. I'm soaked in sweat, but the air here is so damp that it can't evaporate. Stop moaning and keep going. Can you count down from 100, taking a 7 away at each time? 100 minus 7. 100 minus 7, OK. Uh, 100 minus 7, 93. Minus 7. Uh, 80, 100. <laughs> Middle of the night here, and it's about nine, minus 30 outside. Of course, there's one big problem here in the Arctic, and that is any bit of exposed skin is liable to get frostbite after a few minutes, which brings me to the problem of going to the toilet. Connects us all in truly remarkable ways. Benedicta knows only slightly more about meteorology than I do. It's hot, damn hot. Wildest weather, frostbite, blasted, roasted, soaked, and frozen. This is the doldrums. The terrifying power of a hurricane. Tornado, the monsoon, jet stream. Rain shower in Bergen. Stratosphere, a lethal white heart of winter. The prevailing wind, clouds, the colds are killer, the killer. Lightning, thunderstorms, ice storms, the tropical storm. Blinding heat of the desert. It's wet, it's flooded, and it's cold. Avalanches. Tropopause. Global warming, the thermal haline conveyor. Hey now, give me the meltdown, take it out. We'll give it a couple of hours to complete the process of bonding, and we'll come back and start digging it out. My feet, my hands, my butt. We said that they had one of their bombs, and they were going by, and a damn thing fell out of the plane, you know? The stupid bastards, and we blamed it on them and got away with it, you know? And then I heard this thudding sound <laughs> uh, you know when the lightning hit me it was like nothing i could have ever imagined a chatter when severe frostbite i saw these like giant balls coming from the skies i cannot believe that it got me again we're starting to see the god absolutely littered littered i mean littered over ankle deep in apples all sorts of apples the third time i was struck was totally different than the first two. Oh, <laughs> that flies, all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So uh, that's how you start. That's how you learn. Good idea to learn to ski first before you become a member of the Sirius Patrol. <laughs> Let's go. It's so hard to believe. It's so complicated as hell, you know. Disaster, Bob. Oh, I did warn you. At least the spiders that were in them are now gone. Bit of the ballerina about me out there, I thought. Uh, very smooth. <laughs> yeah, you were definitely on your toes. <laughs> the dark horse for me has been Donal. Has definitely surprised me the most in this competition. The fact that I wrote him off so early on, and now I think he deserves to be here. His strengths are his lifting ability. He lifts like one of the professionals. Put that with his increased skating ability, and he's a force to be reckoned with. Donald's standout performance was Props Week with the broom, and he was beautiful in that. The way with Florentine, he made that broom come alive. It added something to the overall performance. Certainly, the Prop Week was a wonderful, wonderful performance and um, it was a joy to watch. He was the underdog and now he's raised his game so high that he's knocked out a lot of other competition that we all thought would be still here. 
if you can survive this long in this competition, and it has been quite tough, then you're doing something wrong. You know, he really has proven that it's hard work and determination, not always talent. He's won the hearts of the nation. After carrying all this violence, it comes to rest here, sinking gently back towards Earth. Now all this cold air begins to slip south, and the cycle starts all over again. Hey now, give me the meltdown. Take it out on me, don't let me down. 